Grace. What's up? So we're on the more hustle cat. <laughs> Yeah, you do change it every yeah, time. Yeah, I know. I don't know how. I can't remember what I do, but I'll just keep singing and just go with it. That's cool. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so we're going out for a walk because there's just too much pent up energy. Oh, so much. Hey, it's actually pretty early. Reading a dusty tome all night actually reset my sleep schedule to a normal one. Imagine that. See, I feel like normal is so specific to the person yeah it really is because yeah. like i had a friend in high school who normal for her was going to bed at like 3 a.m and oh waking up at like 11 or 12 yeah and that was just her norm and that's her normal schedule like she yeah. would go to europe and come back and be on my kind of schedule yeah so like if i knew that she was traveling i would call her when she got back at like 7 a.m be like hey what's up she'd yeah. be like oh my god thank you you know that you know that i'm awake already yeah <laughs> like she was bored that's funny yeah oh gosh yeah it makes me laugh uh okay to a normal one i'm gonna celebrate with some coffee breakfast and a nice walk Woo-hoo. when did i become a coffee drinker anyway Maybe when you started working at a cafe? At a coffee cafe? <laughs> and you have to stay awake, so coffee helps. It so, really does. Unless I, unless you can't handle caffeine. Like, yeah, like, I can't have more than two cups of coffee. Oh, really? See, I'm I'm unlimited on coffee drinking. Oh, like, no. I love so like, much coffee. I just finished some coffee, so if I'm talking faster, it's because of coffee. Yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm pumped like, up. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. See, coffee doesn't do that to me. I'm like, sometimes it does. Other times it doesn't affect me at all. But yeah. I don't know. Lately, it's like it wakes me. That second cup wakes me up. Oh, like the, the first one, I'm okay. I yeah. can do the day. I can get through the day. Yeah. The second one, I'm just like, okay, let's do this. Let's go. Yeah. So I don't want to start on three. No. No, that would be bad for me. That's. That I would probably sense. be an insomniac. Well, I always do two in the morning and usually one in the afternoon because, like, after lunch, pick me up. Yeah. Because I always get tired. Anyway. I don't always get that luxury with my job. Oh, that's true. Uh, it's not bad after all now that I've gotten used to it. The stuff I drink is actually a real shade of tan now, almost. My palate is refining every day. Oh, isn't it so proud when you're like, wow, I don't take as much you know sugar what? and cream I don't and have stuff. a little bit of coffee with my cream and sugar. Now I have, like... Coffee with some cream and sugar. Yeah. I remember, like, when I met John, and one day he we were in class together, uh-huh. and he was like, he asked me for, like, some Aleve or aspirin or something. I was like, yeah. all right. And I always carry stuff like that. Yeah. I'm a girl. Yeah. So he's to. like, can I take a sip of your coffee? Because he was expecting <laughs> coffee. And he, like, choked. Like, he was like, that is diabetic coffee. You want to know the worst part? He hmm. puts a lot of cream in his coffee. I know. Oh, I've watched him. And I'm yeah. like, seriously? And you he doesn't mind diabetes? Oh, no. He doesn't like sugar in his coffee. Yeah. yeah. He, cream, absolutely. Sugar, not so much. I'm just there like, it depends. I found that if I have warm coffee, I mm-hmm. need sugar. Mm-hmm. If I have cold coffee, it's just cream. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, cold coffee, I like it a little more bitter. So, yeah. And like warm coffee, I kind of like that sweet, little yeah. sweeter. I guess it's more like. Uh, chocolate, like hot chocolate that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. It's just that comfort and mm-hmm. that sweetness. And I don't use as much cream in warm coffee yeah, as I do Yeah, I've noticed coffee. that. And I think that's because it's offset with the sugar. Yeah. But I used to use too sweet and low packets. Oh my goodness, me too. And now I use like... Oh, it was so bad. Like, now even half a thing is sh- teaspoon of sugar. Yeah. Um, I use maybe like, I don't know, um, like half a stevia packet now. Yeah. I like stevia. Anyway. I understand. So. Okay, palette's refining. Um, okay, I just, I kind of just want a big old cheese danish or something, too. There's that corner store down the road. I've been in there for a lot of stuff, and their breakfast pastries look really good. I could also just stop by the cafe. It's close to customers today, but I bet someone's hanging around who could make me a nice fancy coffee or something. Uh, get some from work? I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it would be free then. 
So. That's my thought. Yeah. <laughs> See? Why waste money? You know what? Why waste money when I can just get some coffee for free at the cafe? So Gotta true. save up so that she can move out on her own. I know. And yeah. that coffee is gonna make a big difference. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. three dollars. Three dollars. Well, if you do it every day, three dollars? Eh, makes a little yeah, difference. It makes a dent. Yeah. It makes a dent then. Uh, I'm still not real great on the water co- water to coffee grounds ratio, <laughs> but better I learn with myself than with customers, right? Yeah. This, La- is, this is when you Google it. Seriously. So. Ugh. Last time I tried to make coffee was a disaster. It came out as this gross brown water. <laughs> yeah, it, you have to learn. Yeah. You want to know the worst part? It's on the, like, the directions are on the packet. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So. Yeah, like, it tells you how much coffee to put in. Mm-hmm. I and really have to learn to do this right. For what boldness you want. Yeah. Stuff, so. Gotta figure out this coffee thing. Because mm-hmm. eventually you gotta make your own. Huh. Doesn't look like anybody's here yet. There's some lights on in the cafe and on the floor above, but I don't see anyone moving around inside. Maybe I was wrong about people coming here on their days off? Is it really just going to be me hanging out at work like I have nothing better to do? Mm. Well, do you? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll just go make some coffee and then figure out what else to do for the day. Yeah. Luckily, I just got my key. I can unlock the door and let myself in and hopefully turn off the alarm. Yeah, that would be an essential. (laughs) So, yep. I had a new coworker call me one time and like the I could hear the alarm going off in the background and I was just Aww. like you didn't turn off the alarm did you he was just like I don't have a code I was just like Aww. they let like he was the only one working that day he was scheduled to be the only one and I was just like nobody gave you a code are you kidding me yeah seriously like if you're the only one there just, they should have given you a code yeah so come on so that was a little ridiculous yeah Even though there are no people here, the cafe still feels busy with all these cats milling around. (laughs) There goes Hash Browns bossing around some other cat like usual. Now is making eyes at his own reflection on the floor. Kotix in a cute little ball by the window. That's a lot of cats. So cute. Marina and Ayn are catching catching some sun. Yeah. Aw, Junta has his paw around one of the other cats like they're spooning. How cute! Who is it? I peek in closer to get a look and maybe a photo. But when I see that little seal nose pointing... That little seal point nose sticking out, I pause. Is that... Haze? <gasps> uh. His ear flicks and one eye shoots open. It looks like he takes a moment to register what's happening, but once he does, his eyes dilate to the size of saucers. Uh-huh. He eats that deer in the headlights look. Yeah, like, ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, Avery? His tail puffs up, puffs up, and he backs away from Junta at a surprising pace. He bumps into the wall and then hops himself six inches into the air in shock. Uh-huh. Oh, poor kid. Poor Hayes. Yeah, nothing to be ashamed of. Hayes, calm down! It's just me! Uh, I, I just... I... Junto is crying a lot and and then I just sort of... Oh, oh, please don't make fun of me. Aww, Aww. poor Hayes. Junta is one of our newest cats. He's a sweetheart stray we found wandering the streets, but he scares easily, so he gets clingy sometimes. Aww. Aww. Aww poor kitty. Yeah. Why would I do that? That was really sweet of you. Oh. Slowly, I reach down and scratch Junta behind the ears. He's confused by all the commotion, but doesn't seem too stressed about it. Yeah, but I... You're so thoughtful about the cats. It's great! Oh, oh, I guess so. Thanks. I'm jealous, actually. I wish I could sleep in a pile of cats. It is pretty nice. Oh, that's sweet. He seems to have calmed down a bit, thankfully. How about some coffee? I could go for a cup, and I bet you could, too. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna change back. D- d- don't look, okay? Aw. I don't blame him. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a little weird. You got it! Despite being around all these cursed cat people, I've never seen a transformation in progress. 
Maybe I'm not... Maybe it's not something I'm supposed to see. Well, he might be changing what, soon. So. Wouldn't he want to go into the back so that he's not changing in front of the huge storefront windows? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And all the other cats. I don't know. Anyway, it's probably as rude and creepy as watching someone get changed, so I'm not about to pee. Okay. Okay, so he's not going to go into the back. No, that's wait, cool. Wait. W would you like a cappuccino? I'll, I'll go make us some coffee. Aww. That sounds great! Thank you! Score! I don't have to mess with the coffee machine after all. Woohoo! Yes! I slink into my favorite spot on the big circle couch and take a big old sip of my coffee. Mmm! I could sit here all day. Maybe I will. Oh. <laughs> Avery, you're here early. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd come see what everybody's doing. I've been cooped up in my house too long. It's good to see you. I'll be around <laughs> doing some handiwork, but let me know if you need anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry about me. It sounds like you'll be busy enough. There's the door again. Hello, hello! So, Avery! What plan are you? Do you know that? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, I mean. Sorry, is it still a sensitive subject? Well, I mean, it's been a few days. Yeah. I get her in checking. Yeah. No. Nothing's happened to me since the day I grew the whisker. I figured it'd take more time. That's strange. I turned in about a week. Aww. Yeah, me too! Hayes nods from the other couch. This wouldn't be the first time Avery <laughs> slow on the uptake. Jeez, Reese. <laughs> Ugh. Were you just standing there waiting for a chance to say something like that? Of course not. He totally was. Yeah, I think he was too. They're right, though. Playing with that book made me totally forget about the curse. Why haven't I seen cha any changes since then? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go do some laundry. Aww. Let me know whenever you find out. <laughs> okay. I'm betting you'll be a silver tabby or something pretty like that. Oh, so sweet. I hope the type of cat I become is still a person. Reese rolls his eyes and flops down on the long row of seats to the side of the cafe. He settles in with a spiral-bound sketchbook. Finley picks up a large bag and trundles toward the stairs. Is there a laundry machine up there? Yeah, in Graves' apartment! He lets us do his laundry there for free! Well, that's nice. Wait, Graves lives here? I mean, you know, since he's on the grounds and they can be human here, and yeah, you know, it's kind of hard for cats to do laundry. Yeah, a little rough. Yeah, yeah. duh. <laughs> the third floor is his apartment. Oh, shouldn't we see him like all the time? He's basically a ghost as is. That's true. Uh. He's usually out until really late at night, at least pretty early in the morning. Oh, okay. I don't think he sleeps. Okay, then. <laughs> I bet he sleeps in a fancy coffin. Yeah, I'm thinking kind of vampire type thing. Ha <laughs> uh ha. -huh. I just mean he's really busy. Yep. He takes care of all the administrative stuff for the cafe, after all. Hmm. Well, I better get to work. I guess so. That ramp isn't going to build itself, after all. Sure. <laughs> Landry gives me a little wave, then disappears into the back. He's back a few minutes later with his hands full of lumber and a roll of carpet. So that's why all that stuff was in the basement. Sorry, it might be, get a bit noisy in here. That's no problem with me. I suppose, if you must. Ugh. <laughs> Landry and Reese go back to work. A few minutes later, I hear Finley. I peek up at the balcony and she's fiddling with a laptop or something. Everybody seems to be keeping themselves busy. Maybe I should help one of them? Yeah, maybe so. I mean... So, I guess come back tomorrow and we'll figure out who we're helping? Or who come back next helping? time? Who we're helping? Yes. Yes! <laughs>